YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and yesterday we did a Clay Thompson on the Pacers rebuild and today we're gonna send Paul George back to the Pacers to get traded to the Warriors so we're gonna look on the other side of things so right now you see a three-team deal it's not really a three-team deal this is just putting a little depot some bonus back on the Thunder where they were so Paul George would not not have been traded for those those two Paul George would originally be traded for Klay Thompson, and then the card Johnson is just a filler, filler player. He's not really part of this. So after that, I'm going to override every decision, and bam. So now Paul George is a Golden State Warrior, man. Can you imagine if that were to happen in uh, freaking... Oh, my God, man. That would be so bad. Um, you could uh, kiss uh, any competition goodbye in the Western Conference. Um, I would not like that to happen. Obviously, I don't think anyone would have. So when we look at this team, we're not really going to have to do much rebuilding, but I call it a rebuild anyway, because why not? And then let's go ahead and not give uh, these minutes to this guy and say we did. Uh, we got to get Sean Livingston his minutes too. So, And Caspi. I feel like they're going to give Caspi some minutes. Um, so let's see what they got. They got JaVale McGee starting, which I think is a very big possibility next year. Has Zaza resigned with the Warriors? I think he has. David West? I don't know if he has. I don't know. Nick Young is going to get his minutes. Uh, Sean Livingston's going to get his minutes. Uh, so I don't even know where to begin. So I don't think Zaza. Zaza didn't get very many, very much minutes next last year. So I'm going to go ahead. And, Sean Livingston usually was the first guy off the bench. Um, I don't. I don't know. Okay. I, I guess we'll do that. I don't really know. Um, but other than that, guy, So Paul George is your shooting guard now. Javel McGee starts. Geez, that's a team you don't want to mess with. So uh, we're not really going to have to be doing much rebuilding, obviously, because, you know, there's not really much to do. Uh, next year, I'll just try to make the... Uh, after this season, I'll try to make the bench OP, get Paul George back, still try to make the team overpowered. And then... Because uh, we'll have three free agents. We'll have freaking Kevin Durant as a free agent, Steph Curry as a free agent, and uh, actually Steph Curry won't be a free agent anymore. Um, yeah, Kevin Durant will be a free agent, and Paul George will be a free agent, though, so... We don't have to worry about Curry, so there's a very big possibility we lose um, these guys. So we'll have 60 million cap space to get a decent or two bench players. So uh, looking forward to doing that. But other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and simulate through this season. And uh, I feel like we'll win the championship, man. Uh, I don't feel like I had to do any moves, and I think I'll win. So at the end of the season, your boy LeBron James wins MVP, obviously. Markel Fultz wins Rookie of the Year, Len six man. Uh, I don't see why he's still winning it every year, man, on this freaking game, I swear. Um, anyway, did you guys see the 2K trailer today? Uh, I don't know if you can really call it a trailer. It was kind of a sneak peek kind of thing, but I loved it. It looked really cool. The game looked really uh, clean. It looks more detailed, which I'm going to be very excited for. So I cannot wait for all that. Um, we are the Golden State Warriors, obviously, and we are the first seed. Let's see how the player stats are looking. So... 27 22 and Paul George is gonna be the one that takes that back seat now that uh, Clay Thompson is traded so Clay won't have to take the back seat anymore Draymond nine uh, Yeah, let's go. Okay Let's go ahead and just simulate this. I'm not really worried about looking at anybody's team uh, I think we'll win a championship, but I have no idea we sweep my Portland Trailblazers sad to see but you know for the video I guess I'm okay with it um, 2-1 3-1 Oh, what? The Pelicans are giving us some trouble. Are we actually down to the Pelicans? I'm sleeping on them right now. Pelicans, Anthony Davis and Mark's Cousins. I told you, dude, that Ian Clark signing was really good for him. There's a reason why we're losing right now. I'm not scared, so I'm just going to head and simulate. Never mind. We freaking lost. So you're telling me, 2K, a team of Paul George, Clay Thompson. I guess they do have to Mark's Cousins and Anthony Davis. I don't think Draymond could hold his own against those guys. Maybe that's why we lost. It's, a, it's all because of you, Draymond, that we just lost, man. I'm going to say that right now. So, whatever. We didn't win a championship. So, I guess we didn't win. Uh, Houston Rockets win it, though. So, cool for them, I guess. Uh, league meetings. So, I guess I do have a little bit of a challenge this offseason. Because I got to win a championship next year. I have the best team in the league. And I didn't win a championship. So, there's a problem there. I don't know why I went to the draft lottery. Um, I don't think we have a pick. I mean, I have no idea. Probably not. I don't see our names out there anywhere. So, um, I guess I'll just leave it. Let it be. Okay, let's go to the draft. And maybe I can check if we have a pick or not. Do I have trades off? Yep, I do. Let's just go turn those back on because we're about to dump some contracts. A little bit. Iguodala's contract's going to go bye-bye. And Sean Livingston's contract as well is about to go bye-bye. So, we can get um, 
some other decent players. So, uh, actually, Levinson's contract is not too bad, but still, it's bad for uh, what he's uh, given us because he's going to uh, shrink or he's going to get worse. So is Iguodala. So might as well get some decent contracts out of these guys. Uh, like this is probably the best well I get right now. Ryan Anderson, Tony Parker could be the backup point guard to Steph Curry. Could you imagine that? I like that. That's interesting to me. So honestly, I think I'm gonna take this deal and uh, Lee. I guess we'll do that. Tony Parker is a backup point guard. I've never done that. Thirty million in cap space. We could sign a center. Can you imagine, guys? If we have Bird Rights on Kevin Durant, Paul George, wow. If we go out there and sign. A good center is GG next year. Is GG next year? Come on, man. Uh, might get Carmelo to want to come on the thing too. Rookie signing, uh, depending on if I even have the money. Probably don't have the money to get Carmelo. Uh, I'm gonna decline because I want all the money I can. I can get I want all the money. You know, this offseason about to be good. I feel like anyway. Bird rights on Paul George, but not KD. Damn, that sucks. I really thought I have uh, bird rights on uh, KD, but I do not. So I, I guess I won't be able to get a center, which I, which I planned on. But whatever, Kevin Durant's pretty important, so I'll go ahead and get him. Or we could just sign Paul George back, or we could just get. You know what? Actually, you can go, KD. Just because. Honestly, just because I don't like you. You can go. I'm going to get someone else for uh, Seth, Steph Curry. I'm going to get his brother, Seth Curry. And then I'm going to make their beast or the bench really good. So Seth Curry is going to start. So basically what we got, we got backup point guard. Uh, hopefully Paul George comes back. Let's see if he has any offers. we got to be careful of that. we got to off. obviously got to offer Paul George a contract. He doesn't have one. He doesn't have an offer yet. So I guess I'll hold back for now. KD... I guess I'll offer you something, although, I don't know, man. I would rather j you just walk, almost. I really wish I would have had the bird, bird rights on you. Uh, we have Jordan Bell in a backup power forward. Uh, Urson usually wants the minimum. We'll do that. The centers. Uh, JaVale McGee. Do we have bird rights on JaVale McGee? We do not. I want JaVale McGee back. So let's see if we can get anybody to accept. Not this first wave. Paul George still has not gotten an offer, so... Kevin Durant, Urson... Should we get Kevin Durant? If we get... Okay. Actually, I'm going to let KD walk. I am. I don't know why. I want to pair uh, Steph and Seth together. If I get Paul George... If I don't get Paul George, this is actually a fail, so... Um, I want JaVale McGee back really badly. Uh, so, let's get JaVale... Let's offer JaVale McGee another contract... And let's get Paul George with uh, before uh, we gamble too much and don't get him back because then we lose KD and Paul George, which is gonna be terrible. So let's go ahead and give him a contract. Kevin Durant still accepts. Let's not take you yet. He still accepts. All right, so we can get. I wish I could get you KD, but sorry, bro. Javale McGee, Paul George. So Kevin Durant is gonna have to go. Wait. How can I still get him? Can I still get Kevin Durant? You're tripping, 2K. You're tripping, right? It says I can get him. No, I can't. I was about to say. I thought it said I could get him for a second. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, pretty crazy. All right, anyway, so we got Tony Parker as a backup point guard. Pretty awesome. Seth Curry and Steph Curry is about to be our backcourt. So the Curry brothers. Paul George. Um, Draymond Green. So JaVale McGee is still going to be the center. Uh, we got Urson, so we need a backup small forward and a backup. Oh, I guess we have Urson, so backup small forward and a backup shooting guard or center. So let's go ahead and go out there and get that. So small forwards, what do we got out here? Redick, you want to come? Oh, he does want to come for that minimum though. Redick, if you want to come, accept this deal right here. Nah, all right, I right, I got you. You don't want to be, you don't want to do that. I got you. Ian Clark, you want to come back to Golden State Warriors? I know uh, you beat us in the playoffs, but. The least you could do is come back and say you're sorry. TJ Warren, Tyreek Evans, Cephalosha, Tony Snell, uh, Carmelo, you still out here? Nah, he got, I was about to say, Carmelo won't come. JJ Reg does want to come, but I can't offer him any money. I can't, I can't, I just can't, dude. I, I really wish I could. If I traded Tony Parker, would I be able to sign you? 
I have no idea. That's probably I probably still wouldn't be able to, to be honest. So, uh, point guard, Derrick Rose. You trying to cut for two million? No. Okay. Darren Williams, I know you struck out with the Cavs, so you want to... Actually, we already have a backup point guard, so that's awkward. I don't want you. Um, shooting guard. All right, let's get our center. Um, Mason Plumey, for whatever reason, always wants to sign for that kind of money, so... Kevin Durant still wants to come to the team. Sorry, KD. I can't get you, bro. I would, but, you know, I can't. It's just best for business that I don't get you. Chang Fry, I know you tried with the Cavs over there, but it didn't work out. Do you want to come over here? We already have a backup power forward, so I'm tripping. Tyreek Evans... So, shooting guards. So, we can get Ian Clark or pretty much Tony Snell. What sounds better? I think Ian Clark sounds better, to be honest. Let's go get... Oh, nope. Darren Williams. Sorry, bro. I thought I thought I might need you, but I don't. You want to come for that minimum now, Kevin Durant? You still trying to chase that ring? I wish I could offer you it, bro. How low could I get Kevin Durant? Do you think he'd come for, like... Yeah, he's declined. Okay, so... I guess that's it, guys, for this uh, offseason. So we got Steph Curry, Tony Parker, Seth Curry, Ian Clark, Paul George, um, Javel McGee, Mason Plumley, Ersan Ilyasova. So I feel like that's a pretty boss offseason, if you ask me. Got some veterans. Uh, we let KD walk. That's always good because, you know, who loves KD anymore? I don't think there's a person in the world likes KD anymore, unless if you're a Warriors fan, obviously. But uh, just the way I see it, I don't like him anymore. Just my personal opinion, honestly. But uh, I guess we got Steph Curry, Paul George, Draymond Green, Seth Curry, Mason Plumley, JaVale McGee, Tony Parker, Urson, Ian Clark, Jordan Bell. Um, before people get mad, maybe in the comments, like, I don't know if people are going to get mad about this. Why would you get Paul George over Kevin Durant? Because Paul George had them bird rights, which made me was which uh, allowed me to sign some of these other guys, which I'm very happy with. So we get Ian Clark, that potential. Because, you know, we're trying, we trying to make you huge off the bench this year. So, um, when we look at the nine-man rotation, what do we got? So, we got Seth Curry. We got S. Curry. So, we got two Currys now. I like that. Paul George, Draymond Green, Mason Plumlee starting now. JaVale McGee is the sixth man. JaVale McGee is going to win sixth man of the year. I don't know if we can get him sixth man of the year. Um, if I took some minutes away from Plumlee... And got Javel McGee 31 minutes. Do you think he'd win sixth man of the year? I have a feeling he would. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and start simulating, guys. Curry Brothers in the backcourt. I don't think anything can go wrong. I think we'll make playoffs, obviously. But we'll also win that championship this season. Guys? Am I tripping right now? Am I tripping? Josh Jackson wins rookie of the year? Did I load the wrong draft class? Bruh. If there's two Josh Jackson in this league. Oh my god. I actually loaded this. I actually loaded Embrace the Bases 2017 draft class. Oh my god. That is such a fail. Wow. So there's like two copies of. Where's Lonzo Ball at? Lonzo Ball. Any chance uh, player guys have the same player? Lonzo Ball. Uh, Isaiah Thomas on the Hawks? What the hell is going on? What do the Celtics have? Al Horford? No. Jason Tatum? Marks? What? How did... I guess uh, Isaac Thomas could have went there in free agency. Um, where's Lonzo Ball at, man? That's crazy. I'm really stupid for that, guys. I'm sorry. That's probably affected a little bit. I was like, why is Josh Jackson rookie of the... Or rookie of the year again? I'm like, it wasn't he a rookie last year, but that makes a ton of sense. So player stats, we got 25 points per game for Curry, 22... Point eight for Paul George, Seth Curry with 13 and a half, so almost 14. Javel McGee with 10 points off the bench. Should have won six man of the year if you ask me, but you know there's nothing I do about it. Tony Parker was pretty uh, big off the bench as well. Um, I'm sure Warriors or Spurs fans are like, why the hell is Tony Parker on the Golden State Warriors? I mean, like I can understand how you guys feel. I would hate if Damian Lillard was on the Warriors. I would be pissed. So I I can relate. And Tony Parker's facing his old team here. So let's see what they got. What they replace? Patty Mills versus Tony Parker should be interesting. Iguodala is on there too. So this should be an interesting series. Let's go. Up 1-0. Up 2-0. Up 3-0. And swept. Nope. Okay, never mind. Nope, nope, nope. Up. Win in six, please. Win in six. Yes, okay. Okay, that was close. We're facing the Utah Jazz? All right. Who can the Jazz possibly have that they're in the Western Conference Finals right now? 
Nope, just Rudy Gobert and Ricky Rubio. If you have a combo like Ricky Rubio and Rudy Gobert, two players that can barely play offense, then you have a way to make the playoffs, man. Even the finals. Ricky Rubio and Rudy Gobert leads you to the NBA, NBA Western Conference Finals, excuse me, not to NBA Finals. Wow, I'm shocked right now, 2K. I guess Rudy Gobert is just really that good. So if we somehow lose this series, I'm going to be pissed. We're up 2-1, 3-1. All right, let's move on to 5. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, Jazz. You all were living the dream there. But we're facing LeBron James now. I know uh, Paul George is sick of uh, losing to LeBron James. He said that last year when he was facing him in the first round. Let's see if he can get it done this time. Kevin Durant was tired of losing LeBron James. He went to the freaking Warriors. So, uh... That's a way to solve it, I guess. Um, Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, super awkward. But anyway, um, did y'all notice when uh, 2K released the, the Cavs? The Cavs jerseys are badass, by the way. But did you see uh, the screenshot? Kyrie Irving and Cavs jersey. Everybody was commenting like, why they put him? Why they put Kyrie Irving on? He ain't even gonna, <laughs> he ain't even gonna be on that team for after the season. So right now it's a close series. All right, Paul George, this is what you want. You've always wanted to beat LeBron. You let them go to a game seven, man. At least there's no 3-1 leads blown so far. We are at home. Let's go. Come on, Paul George. Get that championship, bro. Get that championship. Get that. Oh, my God. Too close. Oh, my God. Should I play? No. Okay. I was going to say, should I play this one? But we are the championships. What championships? We are the champions. We won the championship. We are not the championship. We won the champion. Paul George is your finals MVP with 27 and a half or 20 almost 28 points per game I told you that dude was sick of losing LeBron. He's like, I'm not losing this game seven. So Geez, that was a close game game seven. We lot we won by four Paul George for 36 points points uh, Steph Curry is that Steph or Seth? Wow, I will never know if that's Steph or Seth. That's just the way it is man. What a mystery That's probably Steph Curry, but you know uh, Kyrie Irving, 40 points per game. He should be the leader of the Cavs right now. Not you, LeBron. Just kidding. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And subscribe if you haven't already for more daily 2K content. I'm thinking about starting a new series because, you know, after this rebuild series, which we're, we're getting, believe it or not, we're getting down to the last bit of teams. Or I guess we have like 10. A little bit over 10 teams left. So, uh, but... That's not going to last me until uh, 2K18, obviously. So I got to start a new series here. Big Borrow League is going to be out tomorrow, I promise. And uh, I want to start a new series beyond that because I'll need Big Borrow League and then, you know, something else. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but that's it for me, guys. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.